If you're not into it, I'll just go interview Dr. Hunter instead. I'm sure we'd have a lot to talk about. Answer questions or follow up. He's bluffing. He's bluffing. You're bluffing. You were trying to listen in too. You said so yourself. Hey, where's he going? Oh, shit. Fucking snitch. Welcome back to the channel today. We're back with Life is Strange Double Exposure. We're just going to step in the where we left off, so let's get into it. Better head to the admin building. Yasmin's expecting me. Okay. Fort Frosty was all anybody talked about last week. No one's really in the mood for snowballs anymore. Okay. Graffiti Rock looks so naked. Damn it! Blow me, box! I wonder what's got Reggie so pissed off. Shit's all yours if you want it. How are you holding up? Are you holding up okay? Me? <laughs> I don't know. I, I didn't really know Safi. Seems kind of weird to be fucked up about it. Seems like there's a butt coming. I mean, I, I guess I'm fucked up about it anyways. <laughs> kind of seems like the whole campus is. I need to get my work up. I missed you in workshop last week. I'm trying not to take it personally. God. You saw my last shoot. It was dog shit. It was rough, but it was honest. <laughs> You're a natural, whether you like it or not. You think so? Shit. <laughs> I've never been a natural before. What's this about? So, what's this about? It's an Abraxas puzzle box. It's got goodies inside, but only for those who can open it. Aren't you a member? Why all the arcane bullshit? Sorry, society secret. I can tell you that it's meant to test a key Abraxas virtue. The eye for detail. <laughs> Whatever the hell that means. You wanna give it a shot? An eye for detail, huh? This is supposed to be that statue over there, right? The founder statue? Yeah, I, I think so. Where's his other bird? There should be two. Huh? Oh, I didn't even notice that. Maybe this is supposed to be Thomas Caledon's missing crow. Is that wax around it? Hey, do you have a lighter? Yeah? Why? What are you thinking? Observe. Whoa. No shit. Second test. Of course. Oh, hell no. It, it's your headache now. Are you sure? Really. Good riddance. <laughs> All right. Catch you later, Reggie. I still need to meet with Yasmin. Can't put it off forever. This 
kind of art isn't really my thing. Unless it's the subject of a photo. It will look way nice. Oh. Too bad I was Yasmin talking. sounded like she really wanted to talk. Okay. I will be reporting on Sophie Luella's thing. Deb and as you don't remember, if you knew her, my team will throw. Okay. Yasmin's office is down the hall. I should probably write something, even if I can't find the right words. I'll never forget you think you for everything. Mm -hmm. Let's say thank you for everything. We didn't have a long time, but it's been a short time. Okay, damn, I'm trying to look. Who is this for, anyway? What I want to say is between me and Safi. Oh, where is Max? Alright, I'll just get him lazy to read it right now. Let's just keep it. Yasmin keeps her own cover issue in her office waiting room. A real girl boss move. Howdy, Vin. Howdy. Let me guess. She texted you to come see her. I keep telling her to send all comms through me, but sometimes she goes rogue. How dare she use her phone without your permission? You think this is an easy gig? Kahuna's got a social calendar like a TikTok influencer. I'm sorry. Kahuna? That's borderline adorable. Oh. Listen. I'm, I'm really sorry about Safi. Thanks. Me too. She and I had our issues, but... She was an amazing person, and we're all going to miss her. What kind of issues? You know, what kind of issues? Issues? What could the two of you have to fight about? I got between Safi and her mom constantly. Could you blame her for hating my ass? It's good you're here. She's... Well, she's about like you'd guess. I don't know what I can do. Are you kidding? She's obsessed with you. I I'm a little jealous, actually. See, I only like favoritism when I'm the one who's favored. Why does that not surprise me? Well, she's got <laughs> somebody with her now, so it'll be a few. Or if you're dying for stimulation, I've got a package waiting for me down the hall. You're welcome to get it for me. Does your beneficence know no bounds? <laughs> Fuck! You gotta be kidding me! Sounds like someone else needs my help. Good luck. Have fun. I'm Ben. Nope, 
we playing today? Nah, DM can't. Gwen? All good? Uh... Max... I, uh... So... I'm a hugger. Um... Are you a hugger? Hug away, not damn... Well, why not? World champion hugger, as a matter of fact. Bring it in. God, I didn't realize how bad I needed that. <laughs> I couldn't just stand there. You look like you were walking around in a trance. That's pretty much how I feel. Is there anything you need or that I can do for you? Actually, I was hoping to give you a hand. You sounded like you could use it. Oh, right. I came in here to pick up a book, but lo and behold, some genius locked it up. Oh, hey, you're like the, uh, breaking and entering queen, right? Think you can get past this lock? So that's what everybody thinks of me? The home invader? Bad reputation, twins? Boom. Bad reputation, twins. <laughs> Expensive display, cheap lock. He loved to see it. Anything skinny and curved ought to do the trick. Any Is there curved? a wheelhouse? Definitely. I just need to find the right tool. I hate I to ask, but any word on the... That pin looks like the right size for Gwen's lock, but it needs more of a curve in it. Nothing makes you feel alone like a chair made for two. Those are too thick to pick that lock in the library. Is it weird that I know that at a glance? I know. Thanks for nothing, Caledon Campus Security. Too little, too late. Wow. Is this a student literary mag or a Lucas Colmanero fanzine? No, ben. This must have the package Ven was worried about. I could bring it to him. Aha. Uh -huh. Here you go. Saved you the trip. <laughs> What's this? Don't tell me we're becoming friends. Settle down, boy, friends. Settle down, fool. All right, settle down. You just caught me in a generous mood. <laughs> All right. What do you want? What? What do I want? Sure. Nothing's free. At least, not if you're smart. So, what do you want? Nothing now, but you'll owe me. One favor, delivered on demand. You drive a hard bargain, Caulfield. But I like it. <laughs> You're full of surprises. Hold on now, you might feel a slight pinch. Holy shit! 
You did it! You're a lifesaver! Yeah, I probably should have figured that out myself. But, uh, hey, what can you do? We're all a touch fucked at the moment. Anytime. My trusty spoon and I are at your service. Did Safi ever tell you about the manuscript she was working on? We're keeping it one night. I knew she wanted to write a book someday, but I don't think she ever got the chance. Why? Oh, no particular reason. Just hoping we have plenty to remember her by. A legacy, you know. Thanks again for the help. And don't be a stranger, okay? My door is always open. Thanks. Hey. You too. Hey, Max. Moses, I... Yasmin's waiting for you. You okay? Are you okay? I've been... Can it wait? I'm like... a husk right now. I... I need a minute. Yeah. Sure. Meet me in the Fab Cafe. Grab a hot chocolate, and I'll find you when I'm done. I can do that. I am telling you to do your job. You're a parent, Chief Banks. Surely you... Of course. Yes? Please, anything you learn. Yes. Goodbye. That was the Lakeport Police Chief. Overconfident and underqualified. Well, he's a useless, he's patient. I don't want to call them useless, but I also don't want to tell anyone to be patient, but let's just say you're useless. Sounds like the cops aren't being very helpful. Can't say I'm surprised. Yes. <laughs> well, they're the only thing at my disposal. Let me ask you something. Be honest with me. Okay. Safi and I weren't always so close. Things used to be... Difficult? Did she tell you that? I had a feeling family is like that. Family is like that. We tend to argue. No, they but argue a lot. family is always complicated, isn't it? Who has a perfect relationship with their mom? Well, not Safi. Not always. So, what's your question? Despite everything they have found, the police have still not ruled out suicide as the cause of death. What? Maxine, you and Safia were friends. Yeah. She told you things she wouldn't tell me. I feel like she would. Is there any reason to think she may have taken her own life? It's possible. Absolutely not. Man, absolutely not. Like, bro, she was living forward into the future whatnot. She was excited for a book deal. Like, no one should really be trying to take their own life, trying to commit suicide. But if anyone should, you should probably talk to somebody about it. So absolutely not.
Safi would never have hurt herself or anybody else. It's not who she is. That's what I believe as well. But sometimes the people closest to us are capable of hiding their own pain. Motherfucker. She was fine the last I saw her. She was excited about the future. And that's how I will choose to remember her. Happy and hopeful. I'm sorry. I wish I could have done more. You've done enough, Maxine. Thank you. Oh, um, before you go, we need a picture of Safia for the memorial materials. Would you mind taking a look and choosing your favorite? Sure. Okay. Pick, a photo. Pick one photo to capture Safi? That's a tough ask. Safi loved lazy Sunday afternoons. Safi knew how to be serious when she needed to, but she was just such a dork. Whenever she spoke, you just couldn't help but want to listen. I'm gonna go with three. Safi cared so much about everything she did. Her passion should live on. Well, I did the best I could. Guess I should go find Moses. I should talk to Moses. He's waiting for me in the fab. Moses is waiting for me in the fab. Okay, Max, now. Yeah. Says that like two times. This is map right here. The fine art stuff. Yeah. I wonder if Moses has gotten his hot chocolate yet. <laughs> it's really nice to have something small to laugh at. Actually, King Arthur, the Knight of the Round Table, men we ride at dawn. Night hearing King Arthur open his eyes in bed. The sun is out. Okay, we'll ride at 10 36. King Arthur lures you to the castle breakfast bar. I know what I said, Brian. I mean, Brian. We ride when we ride. Ha ha. I don't really find that. I told you, don't contact me on this phone. And texts only, no calls. Hmm, this sounds interesting. Well, I'm, I'm sure the police know that already, even if... I understand that, but did they find anything? Interesting call? Uh, Loretta, jeez, you scared the hell out of me. Did you need something? Need? Nah, I was just curious about Dr. Hunter's phone call. Seems I'm not the only one. Wow. <laughs> Caught in the act. I swear I used to be better at this kind of thing. Did you? That sounds like a story I should hear. Well, since you're not busy, maybe you could help me out, you know? One snoop to another? I'm not, I... Just hold on. Let me relocate. What can I do for you? You could give me a quick soundbite for my podcast. Okay, I guess. 
I guess that's fine. What do you need? Just for background, you were close friends with Safi Llewellyn Fayette. Oh. Um. Yes, I was. Yeah, we're... We were friends. Is it true she used school resources for personal purposes and that her mother turned a blind eye? What? I'm not gonna help you smear Safi. If you're not into it, I'll just go interview Dr. Hunter instead. I'm sure we'd have a lot to talk about. Answer your questions or call her. She's bluffing. She's bluffing. You're bluffing. You were trying to listen in too. You said so yourself. Hey, where's he going? Oh, shit. Fucking snitch. Hi, Professor. I just thought you might want to know that Miss Caulfield's been listening to your calls. So are you. Loretta, I don't know how you have time to be a snitch when you still owe me revisions. Beat it. What a little shit. But she's not a liar. Anything you want to tell me, Max? I fucked up. I'm investigating the murder you did up to earlier. Let, let's be up front. Let's be up front. I fucked up. I'm sorry. I was being nosy. I don't know why. Probably just paranoid. You think? Jesus, Max. Get your shit together. You know, I really thought we were cool. We are cool! What you mean? Just stay out of my way. Bro! Fantastic. Anything else want to go wrong today? Might as well pack it all in at once. Whatever, bro. Far be it for me to question the wisdom of our great. Trust you. You don't, I guess. But it's fun. Coffee for when you lose your will to live. Poor Moses. He seems so out of it. I don't even think he got his hot chocolate. Hey. Can I get a hot chocolate? For Moses, right? Oh, uh, yeah, actually. Moses seemed really torn up earlier. Here you go. On the house. Thank you. Really. Uh, Here. To warm you up. All right. I totally forgot. Thanks. I don't even know where to start. Hey, I'm sorry I didn't return your texts or call you. I should have. I get why you didn't. Really. And I'm sorry too. Probably should have given you some space. Listen, the last few days have been hell, but we're both here now, and we're going to get through. I just, I keep replaying it in my head. Could we have done something? Gotten there sooner, or called her when she didn't come back. Why didn't one of us go with her, Max? Why did we let her walk off alone like that? I don't know. Don't torture yourself, man. There's nothing we could have done. Don't. Don't torture yourself. We can't change any of it. 
What if I can't do this, Max? You can't. Neither of us can. Not alone. But the next time you need me, I'll be there. I swear it. We'll be there for most of you. I promise you, we'll find you. Safi weighs heavily on us today. In fact, my best-selling novel speaks to this precise moment. Safi disliked my book, ironically, but sales don't lie. And being remembered for one's words is a kind of immortality. Grief is fleeting, but words, words are deathless. They endure. I want to honor Safi Llewellyn and pay tribute to her unique voice. Hence why we're holding class on the quad today. Is that Lucas? Comanero, head of the lit department. God, what a pretentious creep. Safi hated his guts. I don't give a shit what Lucas does. You shouldn't either. It just bugs me seeing him up there, basking in everybody's sadness. Safi never found the audience that so few of us enjoy. It's up to us to keep her fire burning. Tell me that shutting him up won't make me feel better. It won't. But I wouldn't blame you for trying it anyway. I'll find you later. I can't watch this. Okay. Ugh, Lucas gets Don't under my skin. I could. Don't think I'll break. That's great. Come and say it. Come out and say it. Bro, I'm trying to threaten. This kid, I swear to God. Temper what? Temperamental Keep it friendly. I'm not being Double entendres can't be his whole personality, right? But try to shut him up, or I could just stay out of it and go keep Moses company. Max, good to see you. Who knew you were so self-centered? Dick move. Paying tribute to my colleague? Seems like you're paying tribute to Lucas Colmenero. You were close with Safi too, weren't you? Yeah. Anything you'd like to say? Well, why not? Let's say something else. Yeah, I think I could share a thing or two. I knew Safi well, and I don't completely get poetry, you know? It's not my medium, but Safi made it seem cool, because that's how she saw it. And the way Safi saw things was infectious.
Enough of this. I should see how Moses is doing. Extra security. So why don't I feel any safer? Legend says that if you give Facebox Man a little smooch, he gets seven years of good luck. How do I get what you two have? So, did it make you feel better? Shutting them up? Honestly, kinda. In a stomping on your Barbies while pretending to be Godzilla kind of way. Y you know that's not a universal childhood experience, right? Well, maybe it should be. <laughs> hey, I have a question about Safi. Okay. What's the deal with this bench? She used to sit here all the time. Oh, yeah. Guess we did, huh? Uh, this was our lunch bench when we were both teaching in summer school. For someone so chatty, she really got the appeal of comfortable silence, you know? Hey, Max. Yeah. I'm going to use present tense for just a little longer. I'm not ready for Safi to be a was yet. I have to have this. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm with you, Moses. Go ahead and stay present tense as long as you want. Just a little longer. How did you meet her? How did you guys meet anyway? I never asked. It's not much of a story. I came to Caledon late, mid-year. Safi was assigned to give me the big, shiny grad student tour. I think she saw it as a chore. Doesn't Yasmin have a VIN for that? Exactly. But uh, then she saw this bracelet I got in Kyoto. A little cherry blossom. I've always liked that bracelet. She just finished a poem called Hanami. It means watching blossoms in Japanese. I haven't thought about that in a while. Okay. I think I might need a little alone time. Probably just as well. I gotta get over to the observatory anyway. You'll text if you need anything? Yeah. Promise. You too. Yeah? <laughs> no, no. You want to go in aggressive with the red deck. Hit hard and don't let up. Lose Money. more attack. Moses? It's not rock, paper, scissors. Any color jack can beat any other with the right cards. Yeah. Anytime. <laughs> Later. What the hell was that? Where's that other Moses? How do I bring him back? I come in peace. To declare your allegiance. Come on, Diamond. Seriously? Conscientious objector. That's what they all say. 
I'm unarmed, okay? Just want to get out of Coco. That's it. Snowball's down. Let the observer pass. What is going on? What am I seeing? Better keep following Moses until I figure it out. Where is that other Moses going? We seen at least what the hell. Gotta keep following that other Moses. I need to figure out what's going on. Where is that other Moses going? They're talking? What are you doing out here? Your final's in five minutes. I'm not the one taking it. It's time for our Coco. Safi? You're hopeless. These poor kids pay tuition. Hey, I have a five-star rating to teach rating. I can't believe Max would stand me up. You were supposed to have lunch at the turtle. This is happening. This is real. Probably afraid you'll charge the whole thing to a car. Oh my god, dude. Go. <sighs> it's too cold for this. That really was Safi. I think I have to get to her. If you're not here in the next five minutes, I'm going to tell Moses that you don't watch his Blu-rays. Bye! If she could just hear me like I can hear her. I'm right here, bro. Saucy! I'm right here! Right in front of you! Fuck it, I got pizza rolls in my office. gonna freeze to death.
Fitness I read an interview with Call Her Bluff. 76 percent of people say Call Her Bluff. Loretta feels vindicated that you call her bluff. Okay, Abandoned State, eighty four percent. Max Light, empty spaces for potential, bowling alley plushie, back stole a bowling alley plushie, Chloe relationship, Max and Chloe with high school sweethearts, and five percent with that. Max you sloppy take take a lie and succeeded forty five percent. Okay. Max flipped all the paintings in the snapping turtle, fifty five percent did that. Max shows the nerdy and dirty mug, fifty two percent people did that. Rooftop moment of reflection. Max reflected on the observatory roof deck, thirty five percent did that. Bottle cap game, Max won the bottle cap game. Thirty five percent did that. Max added Arcadia Bay pictures to photo wall, twenty two percent people did that. Wow. Coffee shop moment of reflection. Max did not reflect at the coffee shop. 50-50. I didn't even know that was a thing. Moses hot coffee, hot chocolate. Max brought Moses his hot chocolate. Twenty one percent people did that. Cause, cause of death. Max told Yasmin, "No way, Sophie took her own life." Ninety two percent of people say said that. They shame on you for the eight percent who were thinking that Sophie would take her own life. Shoot for memory. Max shows the caption photo of Safi. 41% did that. Speak at Safi Memorial. Max spoke at the memorial. 48% of people did that. And the Abraxas Puzzle Box. Max saw the first layer of Puzzle Box. 91% of people did that. Okay. And I'm going to end this video right here. I will continue with episode 2 tomorrow or the next day i don't know but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to subscribe that like button subscribe if you're new to the channel comment down your favorite part and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss another video but yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace out guys <laughs>